and right, so here we are. We are same place we were last time. And let's uh, keep going. Let's add a range slider. So to do this, we're going to have to use an external library. So why don't we just look up some jQuery range slider, see if we get something simple. Uh, range slider. That's very... This one looks pretty simple. Okay, well, maybe we'll just try this. So we'll text download this. And again, you can try out all kinds of different libraries to do whatever you're trying to do in the frameworks you're trying to do it in. In this case, there's some JS and some CSS. I'm just going to copy it right messily right into the folder and link that. So let's go here. What was it called? No UI slider. No UI slider.js. And up uh, above, we are going to have. Oops, we don't need that. We're going to have the no UI slider.css and take out this integrity, complicated integrity thing. Okay, so now we have that included in our project, and how do we use it? We have it here of our slider, get element by ID slider. Okay, so let's make. Uh, something here. Let's make it after. Oh, div ID equals slider. Okay. And we'll just load it in down here because we know ultimately when we create our events with this slider, we're going to have to interconnect it uh, with these variables that we're already messing around with. So, okay, let's uh, see that seems okay, at least for a test. See if it shows. Okay, so it's on and working. Well, that's a good first step. Maybe it needs a little bit of styling just to bring it down from being so far up. So slider, have a significant margin since it's a pretty big UI element. All right, there we go. So that's a decent start now. Okay, so we got the slider working. That's nice. It seems to work okay. Okay, obviously we're going to want to like show values. We're going to want to do a few things. But first we have to make this appropriately. So right now its values are going from 20 to 80. Uh, its range, oh no, sorry, its range is 0 to 100 and its start is 20 to 80. We want that to fit our earthquakes when they get made. So actually we're just going to make this when we, uh, when we add these. So let's make our slider range. Okay. Let me go down along here. Okay, so now what we're going to have to do is dynamically make our range the highest and the lowest of all the earthquake GeoJSONs. So it's a little bit tricky. So maybe here we can make our, our min is going to equal something and our var max is going to equal something. So now it's a little handy because we're actually going to be looping through everything anyway. So since we're in the point to layer, we're looping through every single one of them. Why don't we just also do this? We could we could loop through it differently, or we could do it another time, but why not? So here we're just going to go uh, get min max, and we're going to basically check to see if um, the GeoJSON point here has its property of mag. If that mag is greater than the min, right? Or if it's less than the min, or if the min equals zero, so if it's the first time, then we'll set the min to the mag. And otherwise, if um, it's greater than the max, or the max is zero, although it doesn't actually matter, we don't really need to check that because it's always going to be more than zero. Oh, sorry, that's mag. I'm sorry, that should be mag, and this one should be max. So now we're going to have a min and max when that's all done. And we'll just add a little comment here to say add pop-up HTML. Okay, so now then that slider is going to get made. We're going to kind of have that happen just after, and we're going to be able to use, let's see, the min value here and the max value here. Okay, and then we can maybe start, you know, the, the max can be that minus one, and we, we can make the min plus one. Okay, let's see what happens. 
So something didn't come through properly. So what happened? GeoJSON is not defined. We have a little problem going on here. Let's see if we can at least console log out the min and the max. Looks like they're not even coming through. So we're having a problem. Oh, um, this is my error. Sorry, I had a thing breaking there. Um, it took me a little while to find that there was an extra GeoJSON thing, so if you had that breaking, that was the problem. There's our slider. We can't actually tell if anything changed on it. So why don't we try to get some labels working? This is a little bit more complicated with this. I'm here at the tooltips. So uh, it accepts formatting options, in that case pass an array with a formatter. So tooltips here, it looks like I can just say true, and let's just see if that's just going to help. I don't want to have a complicated formatting thing. Ah, there we go. Nice and simple. Uh, now, of course, it's kind of stuck up there above, so maybe we'll bring it down a little more. Or I'm sure we could find some complicated way to make sure it's, like, going down or, you know, use CSS, but why don't we just... I'm just going to make it easy on us. And uh, maybe just increase that to 50 pixels. There we go. Okay.